channel today is a little bit chaotic it's filming day so that means I am filming a bunch of TikToks and just a few YouTube videos um, just because once you're ready it's just more productive to get everything done in one day so for this video I wanted to show you guys how I film my fashion TikToks a little behind the scenes um, and then like the equipment I use and whatnot, and then also how I edit the TikToks as well and the apps I use. Also, I don't even think I've mentioned my TikTok on this channel, but I'll put it here for you guys to see. But basically, it's just like a joint TikTok account with me and my friend Curse Mary. And just sharing the TikTok is a lot of fun just because, you know, we collaborate a lot on ideas and we're both super creative people. So it just makes the process even that much more fun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of seeing a little behind the scenes of how I film the TikToks and how I edit them. And yeah, let's just get started with the video. Okay, so first for equipment, I just wanna show you guys the backdrop that I use. Um, so this stand is from Amazon and also the paper like roll as well. So I just kind of unclip it there at the top and then I can pull it down um, so that I have shots for um, my feet and everything as well. Yeah, when it's not being used, I kind of just roll it up and keep it on this wall and it's just kind of out of the way. And when I'm not using it, my clothing rack that's in the bathroom right now is usually right here. Um, but for TikToks, I'm not gonna be using it. I normally use my rack for videos, which you guys probably are used to. Um, so that's also how I film my YouTube videos as well. And then on this side of the room, it's filming day, it's very chaotic, but um, this is the kind of light slash tripod that I use. So this turns on, it's a little ring light like that. And then you can adjust the brightness. And then I just put my phone here as well. And then this like closes so it holds the phone in place. And then I have a little Bluetooth um, remote if I'm taking pictures or starting a video or whatnot, um, then I'll use that. Is this something after there's nothing to say? We're just moving in circles, but we're losing our shape. portion so like you guys saw I just kind of take various clips of my outfit putting on my jewelry putting on my rings uh, showing my bag showing my accessories my glasses my belt whatever I have going on with the outfit and then like a close-up of the shoes and then just kind of putting everything on so maybe like buttoning up the pants um, like zippering the shoe if you have a zipper on the shoe tying up the shoe something like that just like little details of you putting the outfit together essentially so i just kind of film like little tiny clips or videos on my phone and then i later go back and uh, shorten them down into like one two three second clips and then put it all together with music and that's basically it the tiktok's done after that so i'm just gonna screen record and edit down some of the videos to show you guys how I do it and then we'll upload them into the app that I use. So this next clip is just part of the outfit showing it all together. So I might take a few clips from this video so instead of saving the video I'll just save it as a new video and just kind of keep saving little tiny bits and pieces 
um, from this whole overall clip. So this next clip is just me putting on my rings. So once I have it how I like it, then I normally just heart it just so I know which videos are um, finalized and have already been like spliced and edited. Okay, so now that I have all of the clips trimmed down to about a few seconds each, I go into this app called InShot and I like editing in here better than the TikTok app just because TikTok gives me so many issues with glitches and it kind of laggers and whatnot. So I just like editing in this app better and then importing the video into TikTok and then adding the music once you're in TikTok. So I'm just going to import all of the videos that I made. And then if you hold down on all the clips that you've uploaded into the app, you can um, kind of switch up the order that you want. I kind of like to start with more detailed close-up shots and then I go into the overall outfit at the end. Okay, so this is honestly really cool. I just figured this out. I'm not big on like transitions or anything. Um, I know you can do it within the TikTok app, but again, it's like super confusing. Um, so I held down on one of the clips and it pulled up all of these little transitions that you can do. So I might play around with these for a little. They're really cool. I like this one. It kind of takes the clip and then zooms out into like a little circle. I don't know. Really cool. I did not know that this app could do this. Oh, okay, so these ones you have to pay for. I think you get access to all the basic ones though, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, they have a lot to choose from, so if you guys are willing to pay, um, then that could definitely make your videos look super cool. So just because it does take me so long to film and edit all of these little outfit of the day videos, I do like to post it to my um, Instagram in the form of reels, which just kind of, um, I don't know, allows you to use the content on both TikTok and Instagram. So it's super simple. Once you're in the InShot app, you just save the video all together and then upload it into TikTok or Instagram and then add a song of your choice on top of the clip once it's uploaded into the app. So that's everything I think. Like I said, I just used the same video that I edited into in InShot and then uploaded it into TikTok and Instagram as well. And then either add the same song or a different song um, depending on the video and what I'm feeling. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It just takes a few hours to film all the clips, edit them all in the camera roll and then edit them again into the InShot app but once it's finally all put together I think it's really worth it and I just love seeing each of the looks come together into a little outfit of the day video. So if you guys have any further questions um, just let me know down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to try to help you out or explain or if there's any other videos you want me to show you how to do then definitely let me know. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye guys.